first day of class, first day of class. I couldn't even sleep last night. I felt like a kid getting ready for elementary school. <laughs> I had the outfit laid out already, you know, the night before. Head to class, about to learn something. <laughs> it's me. Doc Hopkins loading T minus five years. So biophysics wasn't too bad a class. We were just learning about like the way things move and trying to understand complex biological systems using like the phys laws of physics that we already know, which apparently aren't very intuitive. So it was actually really interesting because I've never really done any biophysics. Um, but now we're about to hear some faculty research talks, so we have to um, eventually decide which scientists we want to rotate with and maybe join their labs, and so we get to hear a quick like 10 to 15 minute presentation on the research that they're currently doing um, to help us make our decisions. So I'm pretty excited to see the different types of science going on at Hopkins and my different options. So, first day's been pretty good so far. Machine in the known universe. Complex machines need a dedicated set of parts. Basic building blocks that make up neural circuitry are the neural automatons. These are connected together in different combinations to generate the behaviors that mediate uh, that mediate perception, cognition, emotion, and action. So, being complex. So we just left the faculty talks. They're actually pretty interesting, um, but there's going to be we had five today and probably it's supposed to be about 50 going on um, throughout the course of the next couple of weeks. So we'll definitely get to see more about the different research opportunities. And next up, we have this uh, workshop. And at this workshop, we're getting lunch, and they're gonna provide us with different uh, volunteer outreach opportunities, as well as some information about grant fellowship applications. So we'll see how that goes. All in all, the first day of classes was pretty good. Um, I think it's definitely like, you know, just trying to get through this transition stage of what I'm used to and what I know <laughs> and kind of something new and foreign. Um, but I feel like I'm pretty well prepared to be successful. Um, you know, we had class today, we had the faculty research talks. Um, so I'll start my lab work in a couple weeks, um, you know, more in my element, you know, doing research, because black scientists matter, okay? Um, but I think I definitely just want to make sure that over this long, long journey, I make sure to take it one day at a time, um, because it's really easy to stress yourself out over the small details um, and like the day-to-day -day stuff, but this is really, it's a journey. You know, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey and what it takes to get there. A PhD is a very, very long and it's a very, a very difficult process, but like it's also supposed to be kind of hard. Like they can't just start giving out PhDs, you know, to just anybody and they definitely can't give them out of Johns Hopkins to just anybody. So I'm really, I think I'm ready for the work and I'm ready to, to invest that energy and that effort into this cause. Um, I've, throughout my life, I've, like, directed a lot of my energy at a lot of different things, like, especially in college, I was, like, in a fraternity, and in student government, and 
student activities and a bunch of other things. So it's nice to be able to direct my focus um, specifically on just science and you know my business, Black Science Matter, and just being able to direct all of my energy towards these like concentrated goals. I actually, I think it'll be very, very exciting. I think it's really cool um, that Hopkins is really like allowing us to start slowly, you know, building in the classes. Um, and then they're also doing these NSF grant workshops. So they're gonna help us like write our personal statements and fill out applications to apply for external fellowships. Um, and get funding for grad school, which is really exciting. And there's this really cool program um, that I want to tell you guys about that you kind of saw a clip of. The woman was talking about a program called Thread. And Thread is this organization where you have like five people come together from the community and they form a family around one student who's performing in the bottom 25% of their high school class. And this family comes together and provides literally emotional, physical, financial, any type of support that that student needs um, in order to help them move forward in life. And it's actually really great because I think none of the students have above a 1.0 GPA when they come in, but almost the majority end up graduating high school, and I think almost half end up going on to college. So it's really, really beneficial and really, really cool. I'm just really glad that, you know, I'm at an institution that kind of cares about community outreach. Um, and I'm really glad that I will be able to help in those efforts. Um, coming from you know, my undergrad, North Carolina Central University, our motto is truth and service. Um, and so like community service and advocacy and mentorship are just ingrained into who I am. And they're really important to me. And I'm really glad that I won't have to lose that aspect of like what makes me happy, um, you know, as I continue to move forward in science. So I'm definitely looking forward to being involved in like different community service initiatives. And, you know, Thread is going to be the first of hopefully many things that I'm able to do to help, you know, get into and, you know, become a part of the Baltimore community. And in other news, I'm actually sitting on our couch, which we finally got. We got it from Ikea, so it's lit. Living room's kind of furnished. It's coming together a little bit, you know. I'm starting to move in, you know. And life is, I mean, this is getting pretty normal for me. Not quite, you know, it's only been the first day of class, but, um, you know, living in Baltimore and all, should be pretty cool. Um, so that was my first day. It's pretty exciting for me. Really crazy for me to say this, but my first day of graduate school is over. And I have many, 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 many more to go. So... <laughs> You know, throughout the course of this long, long process, I'm sure I'll have many other firsts, and it's still fun to me, so <laughs> y'all are just going to have to excuse my excitement. As always, Black Scientists Matter, always and forever, that's what we're here for, you feel me? Make sure y'all check out the website if you haven't already, www.blackscientistmatter.com, you can get a fly shirt like this, you feel me? Science. Okay.